The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Domino's Post Game Report. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman, Hedman's basketball coach, Chuck Benson. Chuck, tough way to fall in this one. Patrick Monroe absolutely goes off, 31 points. What was he doing uh, to just shoot? Lights out, hit nine of 17 threes. Well, you know, uh, this was one of those kind of games I was I was really fearful of going into it because they are so uh, – they, they just sort of shoot with reckless abandon. <laughs> there, there's, there's no uh, hesitation. Uh, and that can – that usually plays against you. Yeah. It usually plays against you. Tonight it played in their favor. Um, now, what part do we play in that? Uh, I thought our intensity <clears> – <throat> Uh, at the point of the ball was uh, was not what it needed to be. Uh, I think a lot of that probably goes back to, uh, yet again, a lack of experience by some guys in knowing how to how to just bring it at the college level, man. You know, I just told them in the locker room that, that uh, <clears throat> you know, until we get that resolved, uh, <laughs> the turnovers have been our problem tonight. Yeah. You know, the turnovers across the board really wasn't our problem, but it was just the, the defensive side of the ball. Uh, I thought you know, in these last two games, man, I, uh, I see just um, – and you've seen – I mean, you've sat here for the last two years and watched a, a team that has had a really pretty solid, sound defensive mm-hmm. capability, and, and we just don't have that right now. Uh, you know, uh, all we can do at this point is continue to teach and emphasize and push guys to the point where they understand what they have to do and how hard they have to play in order for it to be effective. Certainly had some <coughs> open looks, also had some hotly contested looks. Yep. Let's credit Monroe somewhat because he knocked down some jumpers that probably <coughs> are going to be a miss 75% of the time, but truly just feeling it tonight. It, it, rank your defense on a <coughs> scale of 1 to 10, if you would, 10 being the strongest, 1 being the weakest. Uh, I mean, I give this performance a, a 1. I, I'm not, I'm not, there's nothing about it that I'm pleased with. Nothing. Um, and, you know, it's just it, – it is what it is. I, I, I wish I could tell you that there's a simple solution to that, mm-hmm. and there's not because, uh, again, we just uh, – we ha- we, we've had so many valuable uh, pieces to that puzzle that, that covered so many uh, situations for us, and right now we're still very much in the learning process with that. I mean, uh, you can't you – can't, um, it's hard to fault a lack of experience, and, and so that, that's what's sort of frustrating about it. I, I told them, you know, going to the game, look, if we're going to have, uh, if we're going to falter defensively, let's make sure that we limit variety. And so, you know, I thought it's a season low in fouls. I mean, we we, 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 we didn't foul, so we didn't really. That wasn't necessarily the situation. Um, you know, uh, it was more or less. We had said, hey, we're going to take away the inside if we can, and, and force them to prove that they can do this. And if you looked at their numbers. I mean, this is this is 20 percentage points above their three-point shooting yep. accuracy. So, you know, you play the numbers, and typically the numbers are in your favor. Tonight, they weren't. Offensively, uh, you mentioned the turnover, season low of 13, and uh, oddly enough, six of those come from your starting senior point guard, Jared Johnson. <laughs> Why was He's pressing. Yeah. He's pressing. He's still – it's like we've talked before, man. We, we've got two issues. We've got new players that are freshmen, and then we've got – Veterans who, in every, with with the exception probably of Sawyer Williams, the guys that played typically last year, Jared, Carson, even Josh, all three of those guys have got completely different sort of, I don't know uh, how to say it, they've got got different uh, loads on on their shoulders now, you know, and and, and where, where Jared is still. Very much trying to, to learn what he should and shouldn't do. I, I think sometimes he puts himself in a bind. I mean, he had five of those turnovers in the first half. Yeah. And we addressed it at halftime. Of course, he cut that down to one the second. Uh, and yet again, it just he, he's, tr- he's forcing the action, trying to, to carry the weight. And that's not the way this has to be. It can't, it can't be like that. Aside from that, uh, <coughs> I, again, you don't want to make a ruling after one game. Did your team make a step offensively in the right direction in terms of ball control today? Uh, in terms of taking care of the ball absolutely I mean just the numbers the numbers say it all I mean 13 turnovers and one guy had half of those so I think that is a step in the right direction uh what, what what's really disheartening on some level is just uh, that you know I was hoping for our guys sake uh that we could cut the turnovers down 
And as I told him, I said, boy, I think we get the turnovers down. And if everything else remains consistent, if we do what we've sort of been doing defensively and offensively, I, I think you'll put yourself in a good position to potentially win a game. If you, if, well, you know, they, they for the most part took better care of the ball, but in doing, maybe it took all their mental focus to do that. <laughs> it took away from their ability to do something else. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's one of those deals where, you know, it, we just got to continue to learn to, to multitask and to be um, uh, strong enough to, 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 to handle multiple responsibilities. Jo um, it is what it is right now, Kev. Josh Rogers, a solid performance. Focus <coughs> on, it, on him for a moment. 14 points, highly efficient from the field, 7 of 8. Uh, and those were not easy bunnies either. Those were turnaround 15-footers. Right. What was he doing? I mean, you know, again, he's, he's at a point where he's very confident making his shots. He's taking good shots. Um, you know, um, I – I look at him, I look at Carson, I look at Jared. I mean, their numbers are, are sound. <laughs> they, they, they are. Their numbers are sound and solid. So, <clears throat> you know, uh, we, we just got to uh, – we got to figure out a way to keep our – we don't want to lose the offensive efficiency of this. We don't want to yeah. lose that. You know, and we want to make, make sure we're taking care of the basketball like we did tonight. Uh, but then we've got to make sure that our defense is sound enough and, that, and, that, and it's good enough that we're able to uh, make it tough for the opponent. And, and tonight we just didn't – we didn't cover that 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 arc, and um, and again, man, when, when you, you know, like, <laughs> in theory, this is exactly what we'd want a team to do: yep. come in here and take 32 threes. That's what we that's what we would want you to do in theory, uh, because the the numbers are stacked against you. And then when you look at the fact they were shooting 30 low 30s from the from from the three on the year, that would that would stand to reason that you know you're going to be putting yourself in yeah. a pretty good spot. And and just tonight, they you know they stepped up and and and, and made. Made more than we expected. That's an un that, that, that's for sure. Chuck, pleasure. We'll talk to you Saturday against USC Aiken. Thank you. That is Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach, Chuck Benson. This is.